So here we got paperwork. See how much charge it has in it. Well, one, two, three, four out of, I guess, a possibly five bars. So, you know, it's up there 20, 80%, only 20% down. So, that's cool. But yeah, it's in, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's in perfect shape. So cool. Well, I just received my Max Oak Blue Eddy, the 1500 model. Just got that a couple days ago and I'm doing a little bit of experimentation here. I've got my, um, little chest refrigerator plugged into the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket and that was the main reason that I bought this thing was that I wanted to be able to keep my refrigerator going um, while I was heading to or coming back from the campsites I generally run the um, generator when I'm at the campsite because uh, I'm running my air conditioning also. <clears throat> but I'm pretty disappointed. Um, I'm only getting, well, right now you can see it's 11.6 volts. And it was up as high as 11.8, but that was the highest reading I've seen so far. And this is supposed to be a... Um, regulated 12 volt socket uh, I think it's regulated at 12.2 or something like that I'm a little concerned I mean I don't know that much about it but I'm concerned that maybe uh, running it under 12 volts is going to cause an issue you know it's not a complete lost cause because I can still run it off the um, power brick and plug it into the AC side and it works fine. It gives me the full, I think when uh, the Alpi Cool is running full blast, it's like the uh, power brick provides 14.6 volts. So you can see the voltage is quite a bit down from 14.6. So I'm going to do a couple other um, experiments here. I've got my coffee pot and what I'm going to do is uh, Turn the coffee pot on while it's plugged into the inverter with no charge coming to it. But I've got my Honda 1000 watt generator um, running and the uh, charge cord plugged in. So I'm going to turn the coffee pot on first and uh, let it run on just the Blue Eddy. And then in the middle of the process, I'm going to um, switch it over to where the Blue Eddy is charging from the generator and see what happens. Okay, I think I see what's going on now. The wattage on the AC uh, side is going on and off, so that must be the coffee pot turning on and off. So maybe it is running through the uh, Blue Eddy instead of bypassing to the AC because I'm not hearing my generator uh, cycle up and down. I've got it on the eco mode and it's just running the steady pressure all the time or steady, uh, steady speed I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you can see that the uh, coffee pot is on the AC circuit. It just went off, went down to zero. 
but it's running about 530 watts and uh, the coffee pot is cycling on and off and the generator is staying the same speed so it is running off the battery there you see it came back on the AC came back on and it's running about 536 38 39 539 it's down watts. to 34 degrees so it is operating so I don't know if somebody could tell me if that's uh, you know a potential way to damage your refrigerator running it half a volt underneath the uh, stated voltage requirements So the Alpicool has reached temperature now and I'm drawing zero watts. But once it gets going, man, it cools down pretty fast. And now it says 12.1 watts, volts, I'm sorry, 12.1 volts. So apparently when the compressor kicks on, it pulls the voltage down to about 11.6. The wattage that it's drawn is significantly more. It's running about 105 to 110 watts on the AC power. When on when it was on DC power on the cigarette lighter, it was only pulling 55 watts. But it, when it was on the cigarette lighter, it was only pulling. Uh, 11 and a half volts and on AC power it's pulling 14 and a half volts <clears throat> which I would think um, you know they provided the uh, converter and uh, I'm thinking they're probably going to make the converter work at top efficiency so it's I don't know I'm kind of deducing that it's much better if it is at 14 and a half volts than 11 and a half volts and I'm concerned again that um, maybe I'll damage the uh, refrigerator if I run it at a low okay, voltage. Okay so we're going to do a little test of the air conditioning system see if it'll run off the blue eddy it's a 5000 BTU uh, Frigidaire subcompact I think uh, the label says it draws 3.8 amps okay it's drawing 68 watts right now but the compressor hasn't turned on yet so let's see if it'll keep it going when the compressor comes on well it sounds like the compressor's trying to kick in but it won't doesn't have enough power I've been checking out the uh, situation um, as in regards to uh, trying to get the Blue Eddy to run my air conditioner in my camper. Uh, I have really limited knowledge on this, but I do have a voltmeter. And I put the trailer on uh, 110, 120 household current. And that's what it was showing on the voltmeter that I was um, receiving 120 volts plus or minus when I <clears throat> unplugged the household current and plugged in the blue eddy it showed that I was getting 110 volts plus or minus so when I unplugged the blue eddy and plugged in my Honda 2200i generator uh, it showed that I was getting about 125 
plus or minus I have bolts. now hooked the blue eddy onto a about a five foot 12 gauge extension cord and ran it over and plugged it directly into the air conditioning plug and I'm going to turn the air conditioner on and see what happens uh, I just ran the air conditioner on the generator and it, it's running fine it's blowing nice and cold and no problems so this is going to be my second test for the blue eddy okay you can see it's pulling 68 watts the compressor apparently has not come on yet okay see the compressor just tried to come on you see what it did the unit shut down went down to zero the numbers fluctuated around nothing happened the compressor didn't come on so I've turned it off that's the second time I've tried it I'm not going to try it again I just plugged my air conditioner back into the generator I have the generator on eco mode uh, it ran for a minute or two like it normally does and then the compressor kicked on and it's working fine it's blowing cold air out of the front and hot air outside so there again the blue eddy for whatever reason will not run this 5000 BTU Frigidaire it's a what they call a mini compact it's a modern refrigerator it pull or a modern AC it's not some old relic from 10 years back uh, the label says it draws 3.8 amps and the label also says that it has a low power startup so I'm assuming that's you know another term for um, soft start capabilities I wanted to summarize my conclusions about uh, my testing on the Blue Eddy EB150 I mainly bought the unit to power my uh, 12 volt refrigerator I've got one of those chest type refrigerators it's called an Alpi cool um, I'd like to be able to power it while I'm heading to the campsite and coming back from the campsite generally while I'm camping I'm gonna be running my generator so it's not an issue but there's times too when uh, if I could turn the generator off and keep the refrigerator running that would be great what I saw in my testing was that when the Alpicool is running from the 12 volt cigarette uh, socket on the Blue Eddy it's and the compressor is on it's only giving me 11 and a half volts when the compressor goes off it does go up to 12.1 volts but when you run the Alpicool through the power supply into the uh, AC current on the Blue Eddy it will give you 14 and a half volts and that's what it runs off the generator also you're running about 5 volts lower when you're running out of the 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter and the, the Alpicool says it requires 12 to 24 volts of DC current so you're running at about a half a volt below what the stated requirements are. I'm not sure if that's an issue, but I really don't want to experiment with it and ruin my refrigerator.
So probably what I'm going to do is just plug it into the AC current of the Blue Eddy and run it through the power supply. And I should be able to get, you know, easily 10 hours doing it that way. So when I go camping, uh, I'm generally right here in the state and I'm only going to be traveling for three or four hours maximum. So that will serve my purposes fine as far as the refrigerator goes. When it comes to the air conditioning unit, I was hoping that maybe I could run it for an hour or two off the Blue Eddy, but I tried twice to run it off the Blue Eddy and both times it failed. It um, would turn the fan on draw about 60 watts but as soon as the compressor tried to turn on it shut off I tried that a couple times and then I plugged it back into my generator and it ran fine in the generator so my conclusion there is that it's just not going to work uh, for my air conditioner which is a Frigidaire 5000 BTU 3.8 amps. It says in the description that it has a uh, low energy startup, which I'm assuming is probably the same thing as what they call a soft start. That's my assumption. I could be wrong. Anyway, it doesn't work. It won't start up my air conditioner. And it's a nice modern unit. It's not some 10 year old uh, outdated piece of equipment. So, as far as uh, running some of the other things in my camper, it runs a uh, Mr. Coffee Pot just fine, no issues at all. It's pulling about 560 watts, so, you know, it's pulling a lot of power, but it works fine. You'll make a cup of coffee in the morning with it, with no issues. It'll run the lights and the, um, my music, and a fan, all those things that will run uh, quite easily. So um, I'm disappointed with a few things, but overall I'm happy with it and I think it's going to be, you know, a great enhancement to my camping.